what is a Rubik's Cube? Alright, this is a pretty thorough response, basically covered all the main points, you know, uh, nine cubies. Um, I'm surprised I actually used that word. And, you know, objective of the puzzle is to scramble the colors on the cube by rotating its individual faces and then restore it back to its original state, which is definitely correct. And then Rubik's Cube gained widespread popularity in the 1980s and has since become one of the best selling toys in the world. And then it also mentions competitive speed cubing, which is really nice. What is competitive speed cubing? Yep, this seems to be basically correct. Um, you know, it calls uh, speed cubers WCA. It talks about larger cubes. What if I ask, what are all of the WCA events? So it was incorrect, actually. Let's see what event they're missing because there's only 16 here and they're supposed to be 17. Oh, are they missing multi-blind? Yeah, so they forgot to add multi-blind in. Even in September 2021, Multiband was part of the WCA, so that was actually wrong. Let's ask ChatGPT to write a poem about Rubik's Cubes. Make the poem shorter, because this poem is way too long. Okay, Rubik's Cube, colors twist and turn, a puzzle challenging minds to learn, patterns shifting, fingers glide, solving secrets hidden inside. I don't really know what's hidden inside, but sure. Um, from frustration, yep, that's definitely true. Two triumphs embrace, a testament to patience and grace. In each twist, a victory found, a Rubik's Cube, a puzzler's playground. All right, I mean, honestly, poem was uh, pretty good, so I have to give uh, ChatGPT props for that. So now we are going to ask a very controversial question among the speed cubing community, but is speed cubing a sport? Okay, so it actually says speed cubing is considered a sport. Um, it is a competitive activity that involves solving Rubik's cubes and similar qu twisty puzzles as quickly as possible. Yep, uh, speed cubers compete against each other in organized events, and yep, it requires dexterity, memorization, and problem solving skills. So yep, are cubers smart? I really like the sentence they have right here. Intelligence is a multifaceted trait that cannot be solely determined by one's involvement in speed cubing or any other specific activity. That is definitely right, and it's um, a common misconception among the community. And then it does go into, you know, however, speed cubing does attract um, individuals who possess certain characteristics that can be associated with intelligence. I guess I really like the answer. Let's see if ChatGPT knows who Jperm is. Jperm, also known as Jerry Promenov? <laughs> I don't think his name is Jerry Promenov. Um, okay, um, that is definitely wrong. Um, but I mean, everything else seems right, but. <laughs> All right, we're gonna ask it to write a short story about Rubik's Cubes. This is a story that's um, too many paragraphs for me to read on the video. So I'm gonna say, make the story way shorter oh there we go all right in a small town lily loved puzzles the rubik's cube intrigued her she practiced tirelessly seeking guidance and never giving up one day her hands moved with ease and the cube aligned perfectly word spread of her triumph inspiring others to embrace challenges the rubik's cube became a symbol of hope and resilience teaching the power of determination okay i like that story i mean it's kind of missing the beginning and the middle and the end but that makes sense because i did tell it to cut off all this let's see who chat gpt thinks is the fastest cuber or the best cuber right now because the cutoff is september 2021 it says felix zemdegs at the time he was definitely the best i mean he is the greatest of all time but currently there are so many different cubers who are competing for the top spot what is god's number so if if you don't know god's number is basically the minimum amount of turns it takes for the three by three ruby cube to be solved so it is 20 so let's see if it knows what that is all right yeah i definitely knew what it was yep explained it completely correctly and yep god's number is 20 which is correct and different for different end by ends and everything so yeah did great on that how many different combinations can you make on a rubik's cube it was definitely right 
Yep, there's 43 quintillion different combinations. Yeah, that, that was a good answer. That was the right answer. We're gonna ask, what was the first Rubik's Cube world record? Yep, Mintai in a time of 22.95 seconds in March 25th of 1982. Should I go to a Rubik's Cube competition? Okay, so I gave a pretty solid answer here. I would not agree with the first point skill level. You should literally go at whatever skill level you are. I mean, I've seen a wide range of different speeds when it comes to competitions and everybody has a lot of fun. It also says competitions often have various skill divisions, which is not actually true. Maybe it was talking about different like events or something. I think everything else looks pretty correct. I think all, all the other points make sense and I think that's a very solid answer. Who are the biggest cubing YouTubers? Jperm, Cube Rhythms, Red KB, The Cubicle, then we have Cubing Encoded, and Crazy Bad Cubers. How do you solve a Rubik's Cube? So it did give the specific steps, so you know, you have to start by solving the first layer, but I mean, I would say you have to solve the cross first. So kind of skip that, but I guess I did give it in a sub step, you know, start by solving the white cross on the bottom layer and then solve the second layer, put the edges in, um, orient the yellow edges, permute the yellow corners. So it looks like it is basically telling you to do four look last layer, which I mean, that's not what I teach for beginners method while I'm teaching people, but I mean, that's a pretty solid method as well. I think that's going to be the end of the video. Um, I hope you enjoy just looking at some of these chat GPT responses. And if you would like to see this again, make sure to comment more questions I can ask it. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.